Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So here I have a lithium ion battery pack. It's got a nominal voltage of 36 volts. So it has a V max of 42 volts. But it doesn't work. It worked to start with and it just broke them. Anyway, I'm going to show you the, the voltage. Just stuff these in here. 17 volts. If I try and charge it, it won't charge. So I'll just get my my DC power supply here and put this in and let's turn this on <coughs> try and charge it I'm trying to charge it there at 31.8 volts which is the maximum for my DC power supply and it's not working it's not drawing anything <coughs> so let's just check this is working yep that's definitely working so let's just try again Nothing. <coughs> so it won't charge. Now I've also got another um, another charger, a proper charger, and it won't charge it either. So this thing is just broken. So I've been working with these lithium ion cells for quite a while, and um, I highly suspect that this is not at all dead. I highly suspect that it's just the BMS acting up. So what I'm going to do is rip this open and see. See if I can find out what's going on. Okay, so now I've stripped it down somewhat and you can see how this thing's configured. If I just take these away here, you can see that we've got a little, little block there and some underneath. I might take the rest off in a minute. Yeah, and this is the BMS, uh, the battery management system I think it's called. Um, now these things here, these will be the probes, and they go from each section of the battery, so for example here, 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 random places, and they feed back to this BMS, and basically it tells the BMS if there's a problem, like if there's some sort of irregularity in the battery, and if there's an irregularity it cuts it off, so the battery can't be used anymore. And that's why I suspect the problem is. So because this is my video, and my channel, and my methods, I'm no doubt going to get a load of complaining about safety and all that. But basically, you don't need to be worried, just have some common sense. Um, they're only lithium batteries, I've dealt with them for a year or two, and they're not, I don't think they're that dangerous. Um, the only thing you've got to watch out for is if you were to get metal and short it across contact. Or maybe you could, you would want to get that out of the way and maybe you could touch something. You might get a little arc, but I'd say that's about it, really. You don't need to worry too much. Anyway, so what are we going to do here? Um, so, <clears throat> let's have a quick look at the, the circuit. I don't understand the circuit fully and I, I don't think it's necessary. But what we do know is that 42 volts comes in through the red wire. <clears throat> and that goes together straight to the plus. Now... There are only two wires in and two wires out, so at some point this has got to charge this thing, and that will be here. It's not going to be here because these are just sensor uh, wires to check check things. So you can see that these are shorted together, so plus 42 goes straight through to there. Now because this thing's not working, and I highly suspect these cells aren't dead, that tells me that there's some sort of um, break on the ground side. So it goes through here, goes through all of these sorts of things, goes through the whole pack, and then it comes out here. Okay, you know before we said this, uh, was it 2P, uh, 10S, 2P, something like that? There they are, they're the two rails parallel together. And there's the ground point, the end point there. Now, at some point, this, this ground point here has to be connected to this in order to complete the circuit. And somewhere in between the two, we have a problem. So there's some break, or the, the chip has said no, or, or there's a, a blown uh, piece, or a fuse, or something. Yeah. So that's the problem. Just looking in here so I can see anything, and I can't. So in order to test this, it's actually pretty simple. We can just put a voltage from anywhere here on this on this red side. So we could do it, put it in there here, here, anywhere there, 
or we could also put it there and we have put the ground anywhere on the ground side but before this has a chance to cut it off so the uh, ground would have to be here or here somewhere and that's a very simple way that we're going to test this so let me just check to see what the voltage is, oh, is it about 13 or something um, let's see <coughs> so where should we go from, we'll go from here to here 11 point something volts yeah so basically all I'm going to do is bypass this thing and go straight to the ground so I've got 14 volts here I'll go straight to here and I'll go straight to the live 14 volts and actually it's dead so so the problem is not with the BMS which uh, surprises me okay so as you can see there we're going straight to the plus and straight to the minus and it's not drawing anything so there's some problem with the cells or the connection between them okay so at the point where the negative of the battery pack joins the negative of this on the point where the positive joins the battery pack from here cutting out the BMS the thing still doesn't charge so what we're going to do is we're going to go from here the ground point and we're going to follow it back up the battery so we'll go from the ground point and the first point is here okay so this should read three point something or two or something like that yeah so this part here is working no problem yeah so those those two cells appear to be working then we'll go from here to here yeah they're working <coughs> then we'll go from here to here and there's a problem there okay <coughs> there's a problem there so what's going on here? Yeah, there's some problem there with that one. But anyway, we'll carry on. So we'll go from here to here. That's fine. Then we'll go from here to here. And that's also another weird one. We'll go from here to here. Whoa. Hang on a minute, have I done this right? Let me just check this again. So we go from there to there to there, down here, down here. <coughs> yeah, then we go down here. Let me just check that again. Yeah, that one's dead. <coughs> we go here to here. What on earth has happened there? Minus nine volts. What the hell has happened there? Okay, that's bizarre. But let's carry on. <coughs> let's go from here to here. And that sounds fine. Let's go from here to here. That sounds not very healthy. What the hell has happened to this battery pack? And then we go from here this one again. Go from here through there to here and that one's fine. Then we go from here <coughs> to here and that's the end of the line. <coughs> so yeah so what the hell has happened there? It seems that some cells have, have, have actually died so I'm going to rip them cells out so these are the ones that are reading minus nine what the hell is going on with this so Okay, now it's not. Now it's reading 0.17. What?
That's bizarre. Okay, so what's the rest of the pack, pack reading? Let's go back to the start. Well, how's the start again? So regarding the rest of this battery, here's the starting point. We go from there across to here. Then we go down there. Then we go down here. Now this is where it's broken here. So what should this be? So it's 3.6, 7.2, then we've got another 7.2, 14.8 and then another 13, so it's 17, 18 volts so I wonder if this will take a charge of 18 volts or so, so I'll put the ground on here I think this might take a charge now, so let's see, yeah it's taking a charge okay so that's taking a charge <coughs> now if I was to connect that to there we'd have the battery working it again but it'd be minus uh, 3.6 volts nominal so it wouldn't be a 36 volt battery anymore yeah so I realised that the video isn't in the most thrilling of all my videos but um, I hope you found it interesting anyway and I just have some new new cells that I can uh, throw in my collection and play around with Let's just cut these off here I'll take that connector off as well so this, this BMS actually I think it actually is working so I might keep it for something anyway as for the cells, I found two dead cells and the rest appears to be working fine so I'll charge all these up and add them into my collection and that's this video over with once again, I know it's a bit boring but I hope you found it useful in some way thanks for watching, bye